Hello everyone, I'm almost back to my full self. Thanks for your kind messages of support. On with the show. From ashes, Phoenix throws. In this case, Starship Mark III. It was a bit less than a month since slight mishap with Starship Mark I, first full-scale Starship prototype that was partially destroyed during the testing. The last remnants of Mark I Starship have finally been sent to Starship Heaven, most likely to be reused in Tesla Cybertruck, I think. That is about to hit the road. With last Mark I components being towed away, it will make the room for now improved Starship Mark III, whose assembly, but both things from Boca Chica and Cocoa facility should proceed smoothly and relatively fast. On November 20th, SpaceX performed a pressure test on Starship Mark 1, the first full-scale prototype to a point of Starship blowing its top off. Pressure tolerance tests performed by SpaceX tried to ascertain failure point on Starship. Similar tests was recently performed by NASA on one of their SLS main tanks. SpaceX pressure test damaged Starship Mark 1 beyond repair. Failure created damage to almost every internal component, all but guaranteeing that SpaceX would have to scrap the vehicle and move on to the new prototypes. Future prototypes will take advantage of the lessons learned from Starhoppers as well as Starship Mark 1 pressure test, giving SpaceX a pathway to build on, especially when it comes to the next generation of Starships. A rather strange method deployed by SpaceX to build Starships could be blamed for failure by some observers. SpaceX departure from building future Starship rockets in large hangars, as is the case with Falcon 9 rocket, might have little to do with manufacturing methods and more to do with the fact that Starship Mark 1 was never meant to fly beyond a certain point, which is around 5,000 meters. In the meantime, I'm quite certain SpaceX will, at some point, start to build large assembly hangar where future Starships, presumably Mark 5 and onwards, will be assembled. With current prototypes, Mark 1, 2, 3 and 4, SpaceX likes to keep costs down and also, from a marketing standpoint, it gives the entire community uh, constant flow of updates. It is sad that loss of Starship Mark 1 will delay eagerly anticipated 5000 meter flight test Elon Musk mentioned early in the year. SpaceX wasn't able to even perform Raptor engine test or flight test. It's safe to assume that the Pathfinder prototype has been well worth the time and effort it took to build. Regardless of flight or engine testing, Mark 1's value lies in the utility as hands-on physical testbed for SpaceX employees to, to perform experiments and learn how to build steel rockets and build them outside in less than friendly weather conditions. For what is worth, SpaceX is in the midst of rapidly expanding its presence in Boca Chica, Texas, including a new launch control center, an expanding landing and launch pad, new production facilities, and more indicating SpaceX is quite serious, turning Boca Chica into its main manufacturing and testing center. I'm sure in coming years, many milestones will be formed out of Boca Chica, especially now the assembly of Mark III Starship is about to commence. How soon can we expect Mark III to be completed? It's hard to say. Now, there are two SpaceX crew working on a single Starship. It will likely be several months before the next generation prototype is as close to completion as Starship Mark I was. But it should be well worth the wait and well worth its predecessor's sacrifice. Starship Mark III will start the next phase of SpaceX plans, and that is actually 5,000 meter and 22.5 kilometer flight test preceded, of course, with number of live test wrapped up firings. It is unlikely Starship will be used for orbital flight test. As soon as Mark III Starship is completed, work on Starship Mark IV will commence. This is very likely the first Starship SpaceX will use to test its full capability, including orbital flight test. When could this happen is anyone's guess. If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you.